In this video, we're going to talk about the cross-industry standard process for data mining, or CRISP-DM. So the CRISP, there are lots of different approaches to data mining and there's different processes, but this is one of the most uh, popular ones that is widely used in uh, many uh, different organizations. And it divides the data mining process into six major steps. The first step is business understanding. And when we say business here, you have to understand it's not just a commercial enterprise, it's any kind of organization. It could be government organization, educational institution, healthcare, not-for-profit. Uh, business is a sense of doing business, getting things done. So first, so you as an analyst have to understand what exactly uh, the business or the organization is trying to get. What, what kind of value do you hope to get from the analysis? And th this has to do with uh, the, the core reason. Why are you doing this analysis? What are the organization's uh, goals, uh, expectations, and why are you launching into this? Then the next step is data understanding. You have the organizational situation, but then you have some data that is collected or already exists. And it's very important to understand that data is not reality. Data is a summary or a representation of reality that converts it into numbers or text. And you need to look at the data you have and understand what every single element of that data means and how that data maps to reality. Uh, this is a very crucial process because once you start doing your analysis, a lot of your techniques are statistical or use other machine learning techniques, and they all have some assumptions of what the data needs to look like. And as long as you give them you give the models, uh, it, as long as you give these techniques the data in the format they're asking for, they will spit back answers to you, they'll spit back numbers. But, but what do those mean? If you don't understand the business and you don't understand the data, there's no way you're going to understand what the analysis of future means, or worse, you're going to misunderstand it. And so as you're trying to understand the data, you're going to probably have to go back to the business understanding. You'll find that you misunderstood something about how the business works, and then maybe you have to collect more data. And as you understand the business better, you understand that you need some other kinds of data. So these first two steps really go back and forth until you have data that is able to, or at least hopefully should be able to give you the business uh, insights that you hope from your organization. The third step is data preparation. So I've already referred to the fact that there's different techniques that are used. Uh, they, well, first the data has to be cleaned. There's always going to be some problems with the data and then it has to be reformatted in the format that you need for the analysis that you're going to do. And the data preparation is, is there's some general cleaning, but then there's some particular analysis for each uh, specific technique. Then once you prepare the data in the way that is required, then you can start modeling it. And modeling, you need to know what's a data mining technique uh, you're going to use, whether it's regression, classification, anomaly, uh, anomaly detection, uh, neural networks, or whatever it is, but then you carry out the, the steps for that specific technique. And very often as you model, you find that you don't quite get the results you want, or there's some problems might need to go back to the data preparation and adjust the data, reformat the data, redo the model, and there's a lot of back and forth uh, going on there. But then once you've got some concrete models, and you usually have more than one model in this step, you need to do some evaluation. And evaluation means looking at the results of your data mining techniques and understanding what do they mean. Are these good results? Are they bad results? Are they useful? Are they not? And in order to evaluate how good or useful a model is, a model results are, you have to go back to the business understanding. Good, what, what does good mean? It's entirely dependent on what the organization is trying to get out of it. 
uh, the organizational situation, what the goals are, why they're engaged in this process. And sometimes based on the evaluation, you might have to go right back and restart the whole process. Usually you just, you skip some steps from there, but you always have to go back to the initial business understanding. And this could be quite um, a recursive, or I'm sorry, quite an iterative process. And you go back and forth until finally you re arrive at results that you understand from the organizational perspective that makes sense and can give uh, business value. And then you come to the last step of deployment. And that is when you take the results from your analysis and you implement them in real systems. Deployment actually is a huge step because it involves a lot of organizational uh, processes and organizational uh, structure, even sometimes organization politics. Uh, but in principle, if you have a good effective model and you can show and convince the main stakeholders and uh, leading managers that this is useful, then you can put it into practice in real organization life. And, uh, there you have uh, the six major steps of the CRISP-DM uh, process.